Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the 1982 cult classic horror movie, or more like comedy horror movie, Basket Case. Now, everyone has, I think, seen something about this movie, whether it's the monster in it called Bilal who's in the wicker basket, whether it's just the fact that this is a full-on trilogy, there's three movies, and right now they're all on 2 by tv for free. Uh, that's where I watch this. Uh, Basket Case is a movie about this guy called Dwayne. He comes to New York, and he's, his plan is to kill the doctors that removed him and his messed up deformed brother, who is Belial, the guy in the basket, who is like this lumpy tumor with eyes that glow red sometimes, even though they only glow red at the very end of the movie, like the last three scenes. And as you see on the poster, he, he never gives the middle finger, but, uh, He's done with stop motion, and whenever you see things from like first person view or, or his hands, they're actually gloves that are worn by the director. So, what do I think about this? It's actually really good. I think this really put in the uh, effort to make it, f you know, just feel kind of interesting the whole time. For example, when he goes to the uh, apartment where he stays in room 7, or the room number doesn't really matter, but... He's there, and uh, every the tenants around him kind of all act weird in their own way. It kind of reminded me of Hey Arnold. The sort of origin of this uh, villain is he, his mom died in childbirth because Belial is like this thing that was stuck to uh, Dwayne's side when they were born. And they basically just ripped him off, and the sound is Velcro as they're ripping Belial off of the kid, Dwayne. And it's kind of like, oh, there's only tissue that's separating Belial and his, uh, his, uh, twin. Messed up, deformed twin. And Belial, for some reason, has mind powers. Well, I guess it's because they were connected at birth, so they can read each other's thoughts. It's kind of smart, because you know if they animate Belial talking. He does talk. Well, I guess not talk is not the right word, because he just screams like, ah, ah, every time he attacks somebody. And the way he kills people, I guess he scratches them to death and there's just blood all over their face. He jumps on them and whatnot. And of course the actors are like holding Belial in the air. Uh, you know, because he's just like a puppet basically. And this one scene really actually scared me. To yeah, I actually was scared or startled one time in the movie because the whole room is dark. And the doctor, and we know that Belial is coming to kill this guy. Uh, is in the dark and he's stumbling around and he finds a light switch and he switches on the light switch and boom you hear a giant noise and Bilal is right there on the wall. I did not expect that and yeah it's actually it's good enough I guess with the stop motion a lot of the Bilal stuff you see for him is is stop motion. He also goes around and scares people across the the apartment Dwayne is staying at. I was surprised because they're not that I mean, they're evil because they're killing people, but there's no innocents that die, I would say, except Dwayne's girlfriend at the end, and that's what causes him to, well, I'll talk about the ending at the, at the end of the video. So, there's this guy in the movie theater, he, like, steals the wicker basket, he opens it up and screams, and and uh, Belial attacks him, but he, I don't think he dies, he just runs away, maybe he lost an eye because he's covering half of his face, but, yeah... The others, he just scares, and uh, Belial, even though you see what he fully looks like, he doesn't have any legs, let's just say that, and yet he gets all creepy with girls. <laughs> and then for Dwayne, it's like, every girl, there's only two, this one lady, I think her name was like, uh, oh gosh, how did I not remember, Cindy or something, and then his ac this girl he actually goes out with, who is the receptionist of the, f of the second doctor they went after. Because he needed to get his uh, f his phone records or something like that. Or his contacts. Anyway, so he goes and he scares people. He goes into Dwayne's room. Oh, no, no, no. This scene right here you see on here. So, when Dwayne is at the Statue of Liberty kissing the girl, he went, the receptionist. He, Dwayne, or sorry, Belial freaks out. He like, why? He's just freaking out. I guess he's mad that his brother's getting action and he's not. Even though there's no... There's there's two there's weenie shots and there's only one boob shot okay let's just and that's the most uh, radar stuff in here 
Because I don't think there's any bad... Well, there's there had to be bad words. I might just not have remembered them so well. Anyway. So, Belial freaks out. And he destroys the room. Completely demolishes it. He throws drawers across the place. He knocks over the TV. He's, like, lifting the bed up and down. Like, he's trying to get it on or something. And then, they all, bu they all come in to see what's the racket. Searching for stuff. And, uh... He's not in the wicker basket. He's actually hiding in the toilet in the room. Uh, in the bathroom. It's only a one room place in a bathroom. But anyway. So in the ending, Belial actually escapes. And right before he does, his eyes turn red. So he leaves. And then he goes and kills the girl. And then he, uh... There's this icon... It's not even iconic. I think it's really blown up this moment, though. Because he humps the dead body of this the girl he just killed, who is Dwayne's, I'll just call her his girlfriend. And then Dwayne flips up, puts him in the wicker basket, and just starts walking down New York, hitting the wicker basket across the walls and whatnot, while going to his apartment, still doing it, like, I'm gonna kill you, I'm done with this. And then Belial just, and then everyone walks in on him, and is like, what's going on? And then Belial jumps out of the wicker basket, grabs his older brother, in the crotch and lifts him up in the air for like 30 straight seconds everyone there's like like seven or eight p other adults in the room because Wayne is like in his 20s i think and there's all these other just standing there watching and screaming it's like what the heck and then they go tumbling out the side of the window hanging literally outside on the side and Dwayne is holding on but at the same time like suffocating Dwayne to death with like his arm being a noose and then they fall off and they both die and there is something that if it was not told to me to look for this I would not have got it but when they fall their uh, dead bodies are positioned exactly how they were connected at birth so that was a really uh cool moment a good ending for the film I thought right there of course knowing in the second one I've only seen the trailer but they both survive, and then there's other freaks like them. I really do miss those old trailers where they didn't really show anything. They just kind of had a lot of suspense and, and atmosphere. The thing I love most about this is there is some really weird moments, and I get it's New York, it's weird, but like the receptionists for the third doctor they go to, who I, who, uh, I forget, but uh, they just, they're, they look, they're like twins or something. One of them has their arm in a cast for some reason. And then, uh, we're just, these random moments where we cut to, like, interactions between people. And Dwayne is just standing there like, um, okay, like this one lady in the second office who was talking about how she needs a prescription. Oh, she's always bothering people about, uh, prescriptions. There's another one where we just cut to this, uh, doctor who, I don't, I forget. No, she she was definitely the meanest one. I think she's the last doctor killed. She's like she is a vet. She's a veterinarian now, but we like cut to her on a date for some reason, telling this guy to get really drunk because she likes him like that. And uh, yeah, they really uh, you know, when they separate, there's one guy who kind of doesn't want to do it. He dies all the same anyway. I kind of thought they did a uh, they did a really good job enough with the origin of how he was taken care of by his aunt after. His dad tried to separate them and then throw Belial away in a trash bag, I guess, to kill him. Oh yeah, they killed her dad. He must have, like, the biggest underground lair ever because he was walking for almost two minutes, if not more than two minutes, in his basement in this long hallway getting to where he hears this noise, which is from the... Se he heard it from the second story of his house and it's a bunch of, like, machinery going off. And when he gets there... There's like this giant buzzsaw. Oh my gosh, how big was that buzzsaw that slides down this ramp and cuts him in half? And when he dies, you just see his legs fall in opposite directions. So yeah, they kill their father and their aunt is just, I guess, okay with that. I guess maybe the aunt was this, the sister of the mom. It's never explained. And the aunt is also only in, uh, only in flashbacks. Now, if there was one thing I would commend this movie on, maybe I'm reading too into it, but it did kind of, like, Dwayne and, uh, Belial, they're both, ki you, you know, they're both have the same goal of killing these doctors, but of course we look at Belial because he's super deformed as the villain of the movie, but Dwayne's plan to just kill people was the exact uh, same. He was, he's just as bad as Belial when it comes to motives and stuff like that. Yeah, we blame Belial just because he's ugly. I don't know, I guess in the real world, thinking that watching this movie, it kind of had the don't judge people based on appearances, but we just kind of still do based on, I don't know, we like people to be relatable.
a lot more than, than not. Okay, enough of that. Looking back, another thing I'm really surprised about is how much people did not die. I think there was only uh, five deaths if you include his dad. Because they really were just going after people who destroyed their lives. So really just Belial's life. And there's only one time you see the scar that uh, Dwayne has from the from the operation. He actually, I was surprised. He goes into the second doc the doctor's office, one of them. The first one we see fully die. And uh, he shows him his scar, and then he just leaves, and, and, and Belial is right there in the wicker basket, but I guess they kind of needed something from him, so not to kill him. And of course, there's a receptionist there, so they would have been found out. I actually thought they thought a lot of things through with this movie, at least with the, with the script, right, and I made it really good. Okay, that was my thoughts on Basket Case, the first one. I actually plan on watching the other ones and reviewing those on this channel as well, so thank you for watching, and have a great day.